Well, welcome to Commsverse. This is session 155, Leveraging Cloud Video Interop to Accelerate Teams Adoption and Maximize Your Hardware ROI. Our speaker today is Mitaj Saad. And with that, I will introduce Mitaj. Awesome. Thank you so much for the introduction and welcome everyone. Hope you're having a great event so far. It's the first day. I know there's a lot to take in. Um, our session, as mentioned, is leveraging Cloud Video Interop to accelerate Teams adoption and maximize your hardware ROI. It's a mouthful, I understand, but we'll break it down and we'll go through what we actually mean by all of this um, and uh, give you a lot of helpful tips and tricks in order to help you with your Teams adoption journey. So in terms of what we'll be covering today, uh, we'll walk briefly through the anatomy of a Teams deployment in terms of how Microsoft talks about it. You're not going to go into too much detail, but we will be discussing it in the context of how it relates to Cloud Video Interop and video adoption. Uh, we arm you with a few questions that you can potentially ask at each phase, and then talk about how to move from Teams chat, messaging and file sharing, which is what we call phase one, to video meetings. We talk about Cloud Video Interop and what that is and what that does to help you with your team's adoption journey. And then we talk about how to choose the right CVI solution for you. Do you even need it? If you do need it, how do you choose the right solution? Because there are multiple options. And then next steps. So first of all, obviously, um, we all know that Microsoft Teams is gaining great momentum. You're probably seeing these numbers today many times. 75 million active users, 200 million meeting participants. So obviously Teams is huge for all of us here because we are in this event. We are in comms first. We are talking about Microsoft Teams and how to best uh, get up to speed in terms of the things that we need to know with our Teams deployment. So the way that Microsoft looks at it and based on what we have seen on our in our experience. So a little context to that. I don't have any slides for that, but basically BlueJeans uh, who is now called Blue Jeans by Verizon because we've been acquired by Verizon last month. Blue Jeans has been a video conferencing provider for the since 2009, where we developed like an interoperability solution that talked to different types of video conferencing services. And then what we are currently doing is essentially we are a Microsoft certified partner and we've built different solutions with Microsoft in order to uh, because a lot of our customers and uh, partners have specific use cases in terms of how we all work together. So I'll go into a little bit about that in terms of what our joint solution actually is, which is CVI. But for some context, the anatomy of a Microsoft team deployment and where we come in uh, is among these three phases. So the first phase, as we all know, is chat messaging file sharing. It's the pilot programs that we have been told that we need to run in order to introduce teams Teams is a huge culture shift for most organizations, so introducing it in phases is obviously a great idea. And then chat messaging and file sharing, whether it's like OneDrive, SharePoint, and so on, obviously is the first step. And then for the second step, as is recommended, is introducing Teams in the desktop and mobile. So once uh, your users have started talking to each other over chat, and then they have created these channels where they're talking and sharing files, the, then it starts to start doing the video calls and the audio calls from the desktop and mobile apps. And a big part of the second phase is introducing teams and room systems because the greatest thing that we have seen in terms of collaboration is having room systems available where your users can seamlessly go in from either their uh, desktop and mobile into a room system where they can collaborate with with each other. Obviously that has been different in terms of the pandemic because not a lot of us are working from our offices. So these conference room systems are not that top of mind right now. But as you're going back to the office and as you are slowly thinking about bringing back the workforce, you're also thinking about your team's adoption rate in terms of your team's project. Are you, are you still on track in terms of your goals and where you want to be in your team's adoption? Now is the time to start thinking about your room systems and start thinking about how your adoption journey will look out with those room systems. And the last phase, which we will not go into is because it's outside the scope of this presentation, is teams at scale where you have broad scale enablement and so on. So as being a Microsoft partner for the last 10 years or so, what we have seen 
is that there is definitely a disconnect between phase one, where it's easy to introduce chat messaging and file sharing. But as soon as you start trying to uh, increase adoption in terms of conference rooms and video calls in those conference rooms, there seems to be uh, a pushback and there seems to be a problem because as we know that there are certain limitations in Microsoft Teams when it comes to connecting to your existing standard based room systems. These are room systems that you've had up until now, whether they're Cisco, Poly, life size, and you do have the option that you can, you know, replace them completely with new MTRs or new room systems that are compatible with Microsoft Teams. But as we said, we are in this time right now where there's a lot of risk and uncertainty everywhere. So we don't know what the future looks like in terms of conference rooms. So one option that you can consider is actually still being able to use your existing hardware with Microsoft Teams. So let's ask the right questions at this time. So you're in phase two. What are the things that you should be asking of? And like I mentioned, one of the first things is as you're looking to expand your team's footprint, think about if you have existing hardware in your conference rooms. In most cases, most offices and organizations ha do have existing standard based hardware that they've been using and their and their employees have been using and they're used to. Now, then the next question is, would you like to be able to enable teams meetings in those rooms versus ripping and replacing it with new, which includes a uh, different budget scenario. It might require a much larger planning to in order to do that. How can you do it quickly and efficiently is what we are asking at this stage. And also, would you like to have an open hardware environment in case you want to include other conferencing services as well? So if your answer is yes to all or most of the above, what you can consider is a cloud video interrupt solution. So what is CVI? What is it that we do? What is it that BlueJeans does? So what we offer is a cloud video interrupt uh, solution, which is a Microsoft qualified third party solution, and it enables third party meeting rooms, standard based meeting rooms to join Microsoft Teams meetings. Microsoft developed this solution with us. They gave us the technology. They, we worked with the Microsoft product teams in order to build the solution because they Microsoft realized that they, there is a huge need to, in order to connect existing room systems with Microsoft Teams. So the benefits of Cloud Video Interrupt is basically that you can optimize existing investment in standard based endpoints. That seems like a given. You can accelerate your team's adoption by reducing meaning friction for the end user. And this goes back to the argument that yes, a lot of the meetings were happening in room systems up until a few months ago, but now we are slowly seeing us going back to the offices too. So you need to take that into consideration as you think of your next six months of Teams adoption planning. And you realize the benefits of an at scale Teams deployment sooner. The faster you're able to increase Teams adoption with video meetings, your benefits of deployment uh, appear to you quicker. So what are the questions to ask when selecting CVI? Full disclosure, there are other CVI vendors too, not just BlueJeans, but we want to educate you and arm you with the right questions to ask if you're considering the solution so that you can make the right um, judgment based on what is the right solution for you. So these are some of the four, uh, main qu four umbrella questions that we ask, and I'll go into a little bit regarding all of them. So the first one is, how easy will it be to configure and deploy? And now that depends on whether you're going for a pure SaaS model of CVI, which is what BlueJeans Gateway is, which we'll, I'll be talking about in a little bit, or if you're going for a hybrid cloud method, which is like half on-prem uh, sort of CVI solution as well. What pure SaaS gives you is that there's a faster time to deployment, obviously, because it's SaaS based. All the relevant information, administration components, everything is delivered as a part of the service. As you're setting it up, you need, you have everything, all the infrastructure support that you need in the service itself. And that means that you have no additional cost to maintain the services. And you have global failover built into it as well. You don't have to pay extra for that. Some, some people though still consider hybrid cloud because you have more control over where the service operates, it, what you choose where it operates rather than it being something that we control, like the provider controls. 
you have more options for which which providers to use and you also have better line of sight with a little more IT overhead for you. So when it comes to user experience, obviously you want to make it as easy as as you possibly can with you for your end users. And the most critical thing about that is, will my teams use, will my users be able to use one touch? What that means is walking into a room system and then just joining a Teams meeting with one button, even though the hardware is not Teams. And we provide that in our CVI and you can get that in this CVI solution. And so consider whether that's important to you and whether you can get that from your CVI solution. There are other CVI solutions that provide a separate non-Microsoft, uh, not a Microsoft certified third-party uh, one-touch join. It's not native to the actual uh, video, Cloud Video Interop uh, license. So you'd have to buy an additional license in order to enable one-touch. Uh, what you're doing is essentially you're providing end-to-end -end consistency in join flow regardless of your endpoint. So you may have Cisco's in one room, a Cisco in one room, a live size in the other, but at the end of the day, it, your you, end user doesn't have to think about which room to join because the end user experience because of one touch is the same and it's consistent, which means that they would love using it more and more and they would like to use Teams video meetings more and more. And you have the added benefit of probably adding different invitations through multi-service, which we provide. So the service enables you to join not just Microsoft Teams. If your organization is one where you are having external meetings in WebEx or so on, you should be able to do that from the same hardware and we provide that as well. Will I have update and access to auto updates and analytics. Absolutely, that's critical uh, for every type of software deployment right now. Um, you don't want your room to be offline because there's um, software updates and so on. And you also want the right analytics to make sure that you are just seeing how your deployment is working, whether people are actually using it and so on. So when you're thinking of selecting your CVI, make sure that you have automatic software updates with zero downtime. You don't have any virtual machines to manage and update. You have obviously global failover built in and also analytics and security built into the solution as well. And then lastly, purchasing. Um, Microsoft Teams, the entire scope of it for someone who's trying to roll it out in the organization is such a huge project. Um, you want as much flexibility and peace of mind as you possibly can uh, in every aspect of it and what, how when you're selecting a CVI, you don't want to manage another project just for cloud video interrupt, just to get your room systems up and running. So what you are looking for is a flexible pricing model from the vendor that works best for you. Someone who can provide you with multiple options like per named host, current port, per room, or enterprise wide, so that you can select what you like and what is best for you. So I knew you knew I was leading it up to our solution. I mentioned that previously, no, and this is where we are right now. Based on our experience working with Microsoft, based on our customer feedback, we can claim that BlueJeans Gateway is easier across the board compared to other CVI solutions in the market. We are built on pure SaaS, which means it, it, there's unnecessary complexity with no hidden costs. We're easy to deploy, all-inclusive SaaS model is up and running in six partial commands. Easy to manage because we're simple to scale and we don't have additional investment needed in order to get the service running. We don't have maintenance out outages like I mentioned earlier. And also native one-touch join is a part of the license itself. You don't have to buy an additional license to get one touch join. It's also most cost effective because of the flexibility we provide in pricing. I want to talk a little bit about some of our customers and the benefit just to paint a picture and what CVI actually does. So I cannot uh, use the logo or the actual name here, but they're a top 10 oil and gas company in the world. And they wanted to enable Teams meetings in 900 of their poly rooms. They're a huge, huge co company. And what they get, what they got from uh, deploying BlueJeans CVI, BlueJeans Gateway in their company with Microsoft Teams, is that they had enormous cost savings from no additional hosting fees for the CVI. In addition, they were able to use our trusted rooms feature. They use Command Center, which is the BlueJeans analytics dashboard. 
that provides uh, a lot of interesting and historical um, information about the team's meetings in these room systems and secure calls as well. So those were the things that they cared about. And this is a customer that um, we worked with last year. And then we were able to provide a very flexible licensing about a 36 month proposal uh, to move from per user to 200 concurrent points. So they were able to get a lot of cost uh, uh, value out of this deal. So this is a global IoT service provider, Telet. They're based out of Israel and a smaller company but compared to the previous one, but they, what they wanted to do was enable Teams meetings in about 46 poly and life size rooms. So they had both types. And often what we have seen is for a lot of the other CVIA vendors, it's very hard to manage different types of room systems using the same service, but blue, not, not, the, not the case for blue jeans. Okay, so what they did is they saved about a million dollars worth of room system usage, upkeep, upgrade, and so on by implementing CVI, which was a lot cheaper. They reduced project planning by not having to rip and replace all their room system hardware. They didn't have to like create a whole new project out of it. And the gateway SaaS based architecture made it easy to deploy across a heterogeneous environment, which is the combination of different types of hardware. And what they think is that they have the main tool set for years to come. So eventually customers will move to Microsoft Teams native rooms, but up until they're ready to make that jump, their adoption plans aren't going to stay, um, stay dormant. They can still go ahead with that by implementing the existing rooms. So there's several ways to try it actually, and we are one of the, we are the only CVI provider where you can actually do this right now. So you can take a test drive for a four hour test drive. You don't need your own tenant. You can use our own Microsoft tenant and you can include a room of your choice into a four hours Teams meeting just to test out how our cloud video interop solution works. So just go to bluejeans.com slash gateway Teams gateway and take a test drive off a team Blue Jeans gateway today. It's super simple, very easy to do, and you can test it out as we speak right now. You can also try for free. So if you just sign up for a free trial for 30 days, you can connect an unlimited number of rooms to Microsoft Teams using our cloud video interrupt. You do need your Microsoft tenant, but if you have that available, it's super simple to do. You can set it up within 30 minutes and get going. And as I mentioned, we are the only CVI operator that you can buy now online from our e-commerce store. So you can buy up to 20 rooms if you just visit our website you can um, try out or buy our CVI solution. So that's all I have today. I'll hand it off to you then. Well, I don't see any questions in the um, in the Q&A. Um, well, one more opportunity to ask a question. Um, there'll also be an opportunity to um, talk with the speaker at the um, breakout session. Let me go ahead and put that in the chat right here. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, <laughs> it's not letting me do it. Give me just a second here. Okay, well, with that, I'll say uh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Mitaj, for your time. We've got the link to the breakout session in there. So um, if there's no questions, nothing else, um, have, a, have a great day and enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you, Therese, you too.